welcome to Belinda Carlisle. Oh, thank you. Gorgeous looking video there. It's out today. Yes, single. it is. Yeah. Where was that video shot? It looks kind of very well, exotic. <laughs> it looks exotic, but it was a shot on a sound stage outside of London. Oh, no. <laughs> sort of looked like almost tropical rainforesty yeah, no, type of they, scenario. They did a good job of making it look like that, but it wasn't at all that exciting. <laughs> That's the power of videos, isn't mm, it, really? Yeah. Now, let's just go back to when you were with the Go-Go Girls. Mm -hmm. I read a quote where you said we were, we were sort of an early girl power yeah. type of thing. Do you think that's what, what was a good description of how you were then? Well, yeah, I mean, we, we put ourselves together. We wrote our own songs. We didn't know how to write. We played our own <laughs> instruments. We didn't know how to play. We taught ourselves. And we had female management, female roadies. And, so it was, uh, it was the probably earliest oh, pre-Spice yeah, yeah, yeah. girl, girl power. Oh, yeah. It was in 19, 1980. We, had our, we put out our first album after... Uh, learning to, to play and write uh, after two years and was number one in this we were number one in the states for a long time yeah and did you enjoy that time a pretty wild and crazy time yeah. it was wild and crazy but it was a lot of fun yeah. yeah and and now as your solo do you wish you had that sort of all go I mean you do go back with the go-go's yeah. occasion you're about to go on tour in December aren't you well we well that's on my own but I I, I finished a tour this past summer with the go-go's in the states and we did some dates in New York about six weeks ago and we'll be touring this summer uh, for about a month or so, so I dip in and out of it, mm -hmm. and it's a lot of fun. I miss the camaraderie of the band. Yeah, and what about your son? Because does he is is he very into the same kind of music as you? Because how old is he now? Is he about he's seven. Seven. So he's kind of getting musically aware. Well, would you he's say? musically aware, but he likes Andrew Lloyd Webber. Oh, does he? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, for him, he might get a part in the musical. <laughs> so he's not. Uh, you know, he's he's aware of what I do, and he's very proud of of what I do. Um, but he's, he, I think he's going to be following in his grandfather's footsteps, who was James Mason. Uh -huh. He's really, he's, an, he's a thespian. He's going into the acting yes. world. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, then he's very good getting in with Andrew Lloyd Webber early oh, on. Yeah, I, I think, think that's so, a good yeah. start. <laughs> now, your upbringing wasn't really particularly musical, was it? You come from a very big family. Mm -hmm. Did your, what was your sort of earliest influence, if it wasn't from your family background? What made you get interested in it? Well, I, you know, I was always, I used to sing and, and lay down in front of the radio every summer and sing in front of the radio from 9 in the morning to 9 o'clock at night. So I always loved music and was very influenced by the Beach Boys and that California pop sound. Mm -hmm. And I, I have to be, I have to say it was a punk rock movement yeah. in, in London in 75 and, and 76. That. Yeah, in, in New York, the New York punk scene, mm -hmm. which got me into music. And your son, if he turned around to you and said, I really want to be in an all-boy band and I want to go into the music industry. Would you advise him against it having led, should we say, quite a kind of wild and crazy time colourful. in the... A colourful, that's a very good description. A colourful life. life. Uh, would you try and dissuade him from it or would you... No, I'd, in fact, I'd encourage him. It's been, it's, I've had a really interesting, colourful, exciting <laughs> life and, and it's a great way to make a living and, and doing something that you love, of yeah. course, is is it and, and the extra added bonus so i'd encourage him i i think what I'd about be able the downside though because there's always a downside to that kind well of i think there's a downside in with, with, with any profession and i mean if he's going to i don't know i mean i i think that it's it's if it's an exciting it. it's an exciting profession yeah. so I'd, I'd encourage you'd it. encourage him now also you've traveled around an awful lot mm -hmm. you lived in la then france mm -hmm. and now london well i li lived in london i moved back to france about two months ago right and um yeah we're i can't imagine going back to the states i really love living on this side of the world yeah and you like living in france because you I live in three yeah. very different places but you yeah no i love it Good. Great. And we've got lots of phone calls for you, Belinda. Okay. I'm going to take the first one. Hello, who's there? Hello, this is Jane. Hello, Jane. How are you doing this morning? I'm fine, thanks. Good. Everybody there okay? Oh, wait, I think we're all okay, actually. Yeah. Lovely. I think we're not too bad. What's your question <laughs> for Belinda? Um, it was really about the Go-Go's, actually. I mean, I um, heard her saying that, you know, still meeting up and touring and everything. I was just wondering if sort of all managed to meet up aside from the music, you know, or still ah, see each other. Socialising generally. Yeah, yeah we're, we're good friends. Do you all live kind of all over the place? Yeah, though? well, they all live yeah. in Los Angeles and right. I live here, but we talk on the phone all the time. And, and uh, once we got over the issues, we had issues with yeah. each other, um, which, you know, we mean, we've been, we've grown up together practically since we were 17, 18 years old. So, but all girl bands go through issues. Exactly. It's a, yeah, it's exactly. It's so, it. But we're very, very good friends and, and we love each other very much. Great. Are you going to be touring in the UK? Possibly. We'll see. Okay, great. Thanks. Great. And you're going on tour, though, aren't you, with Culture yeah, Club in December? Yeah, I start uh, the UK tour with Culture Club on December 8th, and, and uh, it's, it's, it runs for about two weeks. Great. Yeah. I think we've got Georgie from London on the phone. Hello, Georgie. Hello, Belinda. Hi. Hi. 
Um, I was just calling because I wondered what you think of the, the manufactured pop bands that we have nowadays, like Steps and so on. Do you think they're a good thing? No. <laughs> no, why not? No, Belinda, get off the fence. We really want to hear what you think about it. <laughs> no, not at all. I think it's, I, to me, it's, music is about, music should come from an organic place, not from some marketing department in a, at a record company. And that, that's how I feel. And uh, I think music right now is, is at a very low point. There's and some good you, things out there, but I, I, a lot of it, uh, I think, is just, you know, it's, it's somebody's well, who marketing. Do you, who do you currently admire, then, on the music scene? Who, do you, who would you switch on your radio to listen to? I like Blur a lot. Um, mm -hmm. I like Air. There's I don't a, think Blur are necessarily very organic, are they? Uh huh? I don't know that Blur are very organic. Well, it comes from a more organic place, you know? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it depends. Who <laughs> else? What about in the female line? Is um, uh, let's see. Well, I mean, I, uh, there's a lot of women that I admire. Well, there's Emma Chaplin, who's a French artist, who is mm -hmm. my favorite artist right now. She's a mixture of sort of opera and... Uh, and loops and enchanting, which I, it's just like the most interesting artist I think that's come out in a long time. Right, okay. Thank you very much for that call. We've got another caller. Sean, are you there? Yes, I am. Good morning to you. What's your question for Belinda? My question is, have you ever thought of going into acting? Uh, I've had lots of opportunity, but I never really felt comfortable with walking and talking at the same time. Right. <laughs> I would say that. Although you're really hard, like although you, you know. do have to have a certain amount of acting ability, I would have said, for the videos, because they can be yeah. quite dramatic. I, I feel com that's about as comfortable as, as, I mean, that's about as close to, to acting as I'll get, as, as doing videos. I just don't feel comfortable with or acting. Or watching your son at his first big movie premiere. Exactly. You yeah. never know. Thank you very much Thanks. for that call. Okay. Thank you very much indeed, Belinda. Thank you so We've much. Out of time. Good luck with the single. Thank you. Good luck with the tour. Great. Thank you very much for coming Thanks. on. Thanks. It is now almost quarter past 11. You're watching the club.